to Dean Takahashi Adventure Beat. I'm here at the Apple event with uh, the new Apple Watch, and uh, we're going to hear a little bit of voiceover on uh, uh, how this uh, works here. So, uh, that's mine. You can see the watch comes up as you look at it. just sort of on when you turn your watch. This is like, I can do more. Right, so you can see I can just tap on the digital crown to bring up the home screen. That's the constellation of different apps you can run. So of course it responds to multi-touch, but you see I'm obscuring the display. So I can also use the digital crown, which is multi-function, so it both lets you do things like scroll and zoom. Um, and it also allows you to press. So it gives you an example of what that digital crown does. Right? You can use it for a lot of different things and it depends on each view. Um, another thing you can do is use glances by swiping up. And this just gives you a quick look at your most important apps and the most important functionality. So weather, the world clock, your calendar, and you dismiss it by swiping down. Right. Uh, the other thing is um, the retina display here on Apple Watch can tell the difference between a simple tap and a pressure sensitive touch. So this is basically a force touch to recognize pressure. So I can go through and I can even customize Apple Watch with a number of different watch faces. There's Mickey Mouse. There's modular. And I can even go in and customize that if I want. I can change. I can use. Now you can see it's a whole different functionality. It's going to cycle the digital crown with cycle through colors to allow me to customize. Exactly, you're feeling the taptic engine, which gives you just a very private and personal tap that nobody else can notice or feel, except for you. So when you change the face like that, are you essentially changing apps? No, this is just letting me change the watch faces, but I can adjust what's called in the watch industry complications. So all the different things on your watch that you can adjust, phases of the moon, current weather temperature, maybe I want the date, or if I want to change the color to something like yellow, right? So watch faces are a very personal thing, so it gives you a chance to do a lot of personalization. Um, so the other thing we're showing off is communication. So essentially, uh, you can use Apple Watch to email, uh, to send and respond to text messages, as well as phone calls. And you can access your friends by just tapping the button, which is under the digital crown. And here you can see all of my friends. And uh, again, I can use now the digital crown to do zooming. And if I want to have uh, some communication with Jane, I just tap her face. You see a phone icon, messages. If I tap right on her, it'll bring up a canvas. Yeah, these are your friends that are that are on uh, Apple Watch using the contact. And you can see here, we can customize the color. If I want to draw a little sketch, use you know digital touch to send Jane a little heart. So she'll receive that on her Apple Watch. See, or, you know, we might have a little code that when it's time to leave the party, we like to send each other three blue taps. I can do that as well. And another really cool thing is if I hold two fingers down, that's my heartbeat. So it's using the heart rate sensor on the back to send Jane my heartbeat, you know, at this given moment. <laughs> Right, and then the final thing that we want to show is, you know, if we go back up to our glances, here we go, we will go to our fitness app. So what we want to do is, regardless of anybody's fitness level, we want people to be healthier. Um, and we want people to stand up more throughout the day, to be more active, and exercise. And we're using the accelerometer, we're using the GPS on your phone and the heart rate sensor to monitor all three of those things throughout the day. So you can see how far you've progressed, you can compare it to how active you were yesterday or a few months ago. Um, and really we want to encourage people to be a little healthier. Uh, we also have a station back there with, uh, where you can see a treadmill and see uh, the fitness app that we're in use. Uh, there is a little communication back with an iPhone as well, like you can say play, play music on your watch or play music on Yeah, Apple Watch essentially works with iPhone. Uh, you know, uh, basically iPhone 5 and later. Uh, are there more apps that will uh, do that kind of 